Chapter one is the introduction of this mighty cast. The introduction of this mighty cast. Are you ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Come on out here. Here they are, the dreamers, the stars, the difference makers, the amazing young people that are about to change your heart and change your mind. The cast of the storyboard. The chaos is just, you know, you have a full show and there's like 18 pieces or so in the show and you have a little group of six here and another little group of six there. But, you know, we have three rooms, we're putting it all together, kids are on break, kids are running in, we're doing one, you know, we're super going in hard in one piece and then, uh, you know, an hour later you're turning your brain onto like a upbeat, something fun, hour later, like a slow jam. So you kind of have to like be all over the place and like kind of follow that and just jump in the river. Hi, I'm Ricky Milan, and this is the Storyboard Experience. It is a brand new project from the Rhythm Street Movement in which we create a series of things. One of those is an educational experience. Uh, one of those is a, is a series of musical dance pieces with tap dance. One of those things is bringing in uh, old friends from the tap dance community nationally, choreographers, educators, creators, to work with the young people and teach and share. And then ultimately at the end of the week, we have an original show in which there's chapters to the storyboard of the process of creating something and connecting to something that is beautiful. There's uncertainties, uh, you know, going into a situation like this. Will it work? Can we get it to happen? Can we get everybody on board and in the same uh, vibe and, and energy? And I think that so far it's been about what I expected it to be as far as just the, the people that I'm working with and finding that energy and finding that optimism to carry on and continue on. So I think the, the experience so far has been, it's been fantastic. I love it. I'm really enjoying the experience and I'm a little nervous but I'm feeling good. We've never really done anything like this before, like prepping in one week with like multiple full length dances. Um, so this is a little bit different for us, but yeah, because usually, usually we have like, what, six months to prepare for going on stage and yeah. we have to do it all in six days. I feel like it's a really good growth experience. Yeah. I'm Hannah. I'm Emma. We're doing a bunch of different pieces. We're in five. We're doing, oh my gosh. We're in open up, creating now, time down our tribute pieces, attention, and timeless. I'm really excited about performing in front of a sold out crowd. Like that's just like really awesome. But I am really nervous about like messing up in front of the crowd. I agree. It's kind of scary because we learned all the dances this week. So it's just like a lot of pressure, but I'm really excited to just like dance on stage and perform. All right, well we are here at the Southern Theater in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I don't know if you can take a look around here. You can see this beautiful theater. Right now we're taking a little break. We just did a bunch of, bunch of music. We just ran through a bunch of the stuff. But we're pumped. Like the band sounds great. The dancers sound great. I'm not here to see what's right or wrong. I'm not even here to see you gotta love this song. I just know I'm gonna follow the dream. Hard as it seems for everything to be the path that I gotta traverse. Not reverse. I'm a this was like a crazy week. I came in, wrote a song, composed a song, choreographed a piece in like three hours. Like, did not really know what students I was gonna have, but my kids were great and like they really just picked up on my choreography and also picked up on the um, Diane tribute that I also created um, so quickly. So this was just an amazing experience to have. The song. Is, is being finished as we uh, as we do this here. I 
think what I like about creating shows is it requires more integration with other artists and entertainers and performers. When you're writing a show, you get those like round table, those round table moments where you sit around, we're exchanging ideas, and you know there's a whiteboard, and the, the good stuff makes the board, and the the average to below average ideas end up on the floor. But being in a in a room with other creatives that like, when you can't finish your sentence, somebody else can. When you can't complete the idea and take that idea to the finish line, somebody else in the room can. Alright, my name is Dan Ristrom, I'm the bass player for Rhythm Street Movement and Storyboard. I've been performing with Ricky Mylan since 2006 or 7 uh, with a group called Buckets and Tap Shoes, and, which is Rick and Andy Osland, and Andy Osland is actually part of the storyboard experience. And so that's really cool that it's like a group that we were in over a decade ago and traveled the world with. We're still performing, we're still making and creating art, we're still focusing on the music and the dance and uh, the culture and history and everything behind it and paying tribute to those who came before us and those that really pioneered the craft and also perfected it and put it, moved it in a different direction and seeing all the different tap dancers that are here today uh, in this experience is really cool because you see different backgrounds, different focuses how people are contributing now to the dance, the art of dance, you know, to tap dance and what they're doing. We just finished the show. Uh, it was incredible. Uh, the music, the dance, all the people. Uh, pretty emotional right now. Um, really thankful. Uh, pretty overwhelmed and uh, just hope that uh, all these young people get a chance to share their dream too. That's my dream. I've been out of breath My mind down I could slow time down